Hi, welcome back to my channel. Today we're looking at Disney's Hunchback from Notre Dame. These cards are very interesting. I have done a review of these in the past. If you do want to take a look at that where we, we went a little slower since we are opening five packs in this one, we are going to move, try to move at a faster pace so the video doesn't get super long. But we are opening five packs. If you want to watch the video, it's up above. And that one, we talked a little bit about it, my first impressions of it. And this one is not really my first impressions. This is more of us going, hmm, what are we getting? What are we pulling? Are we collecting? Because I am a collector not really a player and trading cards you don't really play um normally you know you don't play with trading cards except for these cards these cards have a, a, a weird a weird um thing to them so if you are watching these and you haven't watched the other one uh, and you're going what is he talking about take a look watch what we pull You'd be like, why is that in a trading card? Hunchback of Norma, Notre Dame was the sixth, was the fifth highest grossing movie of 1996. This is a Disney production. This is their 34th film. I did mention that in the review, just so you guys know. A little talking points here. Okay, so we got first card. Let's move that down so you can see it a little better. There you go. I will hurt the name. I'm sorry. I've not watched the movie in a long time. So I do not how to say that without hurting anyone's feelings. This is card 88. There you go. This is another type of punch out card. This is card 74. This is for your finger puppet little play area. And then they give you a puzzle. Yes, folks. A puzzle card that they have inside of here, which is card 101. Then they give you Jester's Challenge. Jester's Challenge card, which doesn't have a number. It just gives you, hey, play this activity. We also get coins in this for a little playset coins. That's card 94. And then there's also, if you're trying to build a little tower, this is card 77. And inside each pack, you do get this little thing where it does describe what each of these are, which is kind of cool. I did really like that in case you're confused going, what the heck do I have a tower card? What, what is this? What, what are these? So we did kind of showcase this a little bit in the review. Um, and if you guys want to see it again, throw comments down below because we will be doing a couple more of these videos on Hunchback because um, I bought a box, but I don't like to make them all in one because it gets a little too long. Here is card 61. And it is another one of those cards for your little puppet show. There's Quasimodo, card number five. There's his little goat, I'm assuming. I'm assuming that's his little goat, his little friend. Quasimodo, card number five. Did we seriously pull? Wow, that is going to be challenging to try to get a full set. You see that, folks? In the same pack, we pulled the exact same card. That is really weird. And then we have Elsmeralda. And then that's card number 29. That's that's really disappointing that in one pack you can pull... It's not a collectible card game because you don't really want to pull the same cards in the same pack. That's, that's a negative in my book. Wow. Okay, so we are opening another pack up. There we go. Okay, so we have for the little pop-out, we have Victor. Card number 91. We have for your little puppet show, if you want to do it, a sheep and a shepherd. And that is card number 73. The puzzle that we have. That's right there. And that is card number 99. Gestures challenge. And we have some little tokens. So that's 97. That's what they consider currency. So they want you to play with current, like the coins saying, hey, you play with this. Here's another tower card. Oh, wrong direction. 
That's card number 79. And as we said before, here's your little activity book. Tells you what's inside. Another piece to the little game that they want you to... For your little puppet show. That's card 65. Alright, so this is a scenery card. Okay. Card 39. Say like Quasimodo and uh, another gargoyle. Card number 9. Oh, do I have it backwards? Wow. Good jo Good going. Good going. All right. That is card number 50. Okay. We're going to look at the back first. Card number six. And Quasimodo looking at a little village of people. A little toy set, actually, because if he was that big, uh, he'd have different problems. All right. We're going to open up the next pack. Here is the first part of the theater. That is card 84. We got Quasimodo. Star of the film. 66. And there he is trying to play with a little bird. Very, very peaceful, very happy. Card number 100. There's a gesture challenge card. Here are some coins. 95. And you guessed it, folks. Here is the tower card, um, which you can see it's really weird. They have the folding part right there. So you're supposed to fold the tower cards up and over and around to make yourself a big, huge display, which I'm obviously not going to do. There's the little piece. We got him again. Card number two. Card 37. Card number three. And we have a little celebration action. We have card number 44. We're going to move these cards over. Um, we're going to move these over just so we can do our last two packs. And I want to say, if you are a subscriber, I want to thank you for watching. I want to thank you for your your support and building my channel. And if you aren't a subscriber and you're thinking about it, it'd be really nice and really helpful if you did. It doesn't cost you anything, it just costs you that little teeny click and maybe the annoyance of seeing some of my videos, but hey, you may like them. Here's our card. And if there is something you wanna see in a video, 58, um, this is card 58, or uh, certain cards or mystery pack or something else that I do on the channel, I will be doing art really soon. August, we're gonna put some art videos out, um, especially with resin, uh, 25. So if you're interested in seeing any of that, uh, you might wanna stay tuned. 53. 26. Life is random, as I say, so I like to try to do random things. And have a little structure as well, because we are structured. We do have card videos coming around noon my time. We do... There's a little pack. We do um, random pack openings. We do Legos, building blocks, Mega Box, Mega Construct, and some other various building of stop motion and reviews of those figures in the mornings. That's card 81. At least at the moment, I am. I do try to have one video a day, at least. And here's a puzzle. So this is the puzzle one where you're supposed to push it out. Um, puzzle ones are in the hundreds. And this card is for your little finger puppet game. That's card 74. And there is the finger puppet stadium, card 84. We have one pack to go. I do give my honest opinion, but my opinion is only goes as far as subtle advice on the really is these things are meant to showcase whether you're interested in buying these things, whether you're interested in collecting these, and I really love to hear your feedback. 
one card. Card number 10, Elsmeralda. Card 54. See, I like the beginning ones, the card 11, like where they're telling the story of it. That kind of makes me like it. Uh, there's a checklist card. 59. I'm not a fan of these type of cards. The ones that want you to uh, like interact where you can pull this apart and, and put it with another character, kind of, you know, give them different things, different... It just That's card 64. I'm really just not liking it. I just tossed this little thing. Like you already saw that plenty of times. And here is the top, top, top of the tower of the tower card they want you to build. That's 76. And then we have coins, which I'm not too jazzed about. And we have the Jester Challenge card. So that one just gives you an activity and it wants you to try to play it. Then they give you a little puzzle. That's card 98. And then we have, for your theater, Gargoyles, card 70. And the final card that we have today is Choplin. He must be the finger puppet guy. So that's card 86. Um, what does everyone else think of these, uh, these cards? Do you find it interesting that there's a lot of activities in these? And it kind of branches out, not just in card collecting. I really... For me, I really like the beginning. I really like if just the the story cards themselves. They really they're really enjoyable. The the gloss on them. Let's um, pop one out here real quick. You know the gloss on them is kind of nice. The detail, the coloring on some of them are, is really cool. Some of them are they go they range from being muted colors to vibrant colors. Uh, I kind of like that. It probably was part of the movie. Um, I haven't seen the movie. I don't know if I ever have, actually. Um, but I like it when these tell the story, and it kind of makes you want to go, you know what, I need to see that movie. Um, that's the best part of these, I think, or the nostalgia of, hey, I remember this scene. I remember this scene. What are your thoughts? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Stay collecting. Hi, thanks for watching that last video. If you liked it, why don't you hit the like button? If you don't want to miss out on further content, please subscribe or maybe check out the video over here.